Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today we're going to be going over One UI 2.0 Beta 2 in a little bit more depth here on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, a couple of the new features that I've noticed and been told about ever since I made my first impression videos. Um, we do have some new options here in your display settings. And this one a lot of people were talking about on the Samsung forums, and that is the show charging information option. When you plug in your phone, even if you have the always on display off, you will get the charging status on the bottom. Um, that was bothering a lot of people because it is kind of bright, especially if you have your phone on a nightstand or next to you at night while it's charging. So we do now have a toggle to turn that on or off. So that is now optional. Another new thing is we have our Android 10 style gestures here. So if we go into navigation bar settings, um, we do have our gestures here. We have our full screen gestures. If you go to more options, you still do have the option to do the three bar um, swipe gestures for back, home, and recents, or you can do the one where you slide in, um, you slide it for recents, and you slide on the side for back. So that is there. You can turn on and off gesture hints, which just adds or removes that bar down there. If you're using your S Pen for note taking or writing or something like that, and you find that when you're writing near the edge of the screen, you're accidentally tr uh, triggering gestures, you can turn off um, gestures with S Pen, so you can make it so your S Pen will not be able to swipe up or back for home or back um, if you find that an issue. I don't so I leave that off because I do navigate with my S Pen from time to time so I like being able to do that. Um, on the edge screen and the edge lighting we do have some new lighting styles. Some of these are part of the Samsung Goodlock app that I have. Um, some of them are new like the Eclipse and the Fireworks and the Hearts and stuff like that. Those are all new in One UI 2.0. So we do get some new edge lighting um, animations and stuff like that if you do use that for your notifications. The wallpaper menu has changed a little bit here so you have a preview of what your lock and home screen looks like. You have the my wallpapers section which this one right here is going to be your pre-installed ones that come on the phone and then we can go to download it over here for ones that you've downloaded from the theme store. Any wallpapers that you see right now are from the theme store. These are old wallpapers that I've had for a while so I don't have the links to them unfortunately so if you do want these you will have to look and see if you can find them in the theme store still because it's just ones that I've had downloaded for a long time from other phones. Um, we do have some new stuff in the camera app as well. If we go over here to more, we have some extra options such as pro, panorama, food, night, super slow-mo, slow motion, hyperlapse, and Instagram. So you can, um, you can actually take Instagram pictures and have them formatted properly for Instagram right within the camera app, which is very nice. You can also put it in pro mode right here and you have custom controls of your ISO, your aperture, your autofocus, your white balance, stuff like that. And then you can go back to photo. So that is pretty cool. New layout in the camera app, some new features there as well. Um, hopping back into settings here, if we go to biometrics and security, if we go to the fingerprint options, we do have an um, option to show the icon so you can have it shown on the always on display. You can have it tap to show or you can have it on never. So if we put my phone to sleep here and I turn on my always on display by tapping, you can see we have the fingerprint icon right there to unlock the device. If I have my always on display set to always be on, um, it would come up here and then you could tap it and you could get the fingerprint icon so it wouldn't be there all the time. So if you do use your always on display on always on mode instead of tap to show, you can have the fingerprint icon go away until you tap your screen. So those are some of the new features in One UI 2.0. There are some more that I've been um, looking at as well that I will do some more videos on later on, but that's just the camera app and the new uh, lock screen and home screen and all those features. We also do have the dark mode, which I talked a little bit about in my first impressions, which does do system-wide theming now as well as uh, supported third-party apps. So more and more of those will start to roll out as Android 10 um, becomes available on more devices. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.